What's up, gamers? Welcome to the video. Today is our 42nd episode of this freaking mega build world, and you guys are loving it, and I'm loving it. We're almost to 5,000 subscribers. I want to get there before the 15th because that's a goal, and I like goals. Goals are achievable, and that's a totally achievable thing. 200 more subscribers in three days. We got this. Easy peasy. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoy my content. And make sure you hit the like button for me, too, so that other people can enjoy my content and it gets out there in the world. How the heck are you guys doing today? Let me know in the comments what you made for breakfast today. I made bacon and eggs because supposedly, you know, all it took was one little whiff of me seeing this on the Internet. Supposedly, bacon is good for keto. Somehow, bacon is keto. I, don't, I still don't know much about keto. For those of you that know, I'm kind of on a... A weight loss journey right now uh, experimenting with different types of dieting and things like that but uh, you know I, I seen that bacon is keto so I ate the bacon this morning and I'm feeling fantastic had me a little bit of coffee I uh, got a little bit of bacon man what a great way to start off a freaking Sunday morning but uh, you guys are gonna poop a little when I tell you what my plans are now that we have all the support arms done for this big crane build here. Um, obviously, everything looks cool so far up to this point. Um, you know, the crane itself is actually functional. It's done. I could walk away from it right now, and that could be it. But I ain't going to do that. It don't have that wow factor. It might have the wow factor, like wow, like an Owen Wilson wow. But we're looking for the Christopher Walken wow. So here's the idea. Here's the idea. See, see these little ramp things? Kind of similar to these that I built on the sides. I am going to come over. Uh, we're going to go one, two, one, two, like caddy corner, you know, this direction on all four corners, including underneath. Um, and we're going to start giving this thing a little dimension here. I think I set it up on this side. Yeah, here we go. So just like that, you know, I don't know how to explain this, but. You know, if you're going to go corner, skip skip one, put it there, skip one, put it there. Uh, so more or less, we're going to be creating a skeleton around the crane arm because I feel like the crane arm is obviously really cool, but it just doesn't blend very well. You feel me? It doesn't like, I don't know. This is all wood. This is little clover. And then that's just like grass. You know what I'm doing? You know what I'm saying here? Obviously, we still need to create the counterweight here and tie it together somehow. So that looks actually cool. But, yeah, I think surrounding this thing in four pillars of, of stick ramp that look like this is going to look sick. And it's going to make it look thicker. And I feel like it's going to make it blend a little bit better. But, obviously, that is going to be very difficult as I don't have a ton of clovers right now. I do have 11 brat burst. Um, so, we might have to go get our brat burst on but currently i'm just gonna make sure i get enough sticks to complete this project which luckily almost all of our sticks are respawned over here right now so we're gonna get on that um we're gonna start this video off today three minutes in because i want to see how many people have actually watched this video up to the three minute mark today and uh we're gonna start off the video with a word and the word is gonna be helmet okay that's gonna be the word for the day that's going to be the first word. Stick around, maybe around the 15 or 20 minute mark. We'll drop another word in the in the, in the the video so you guys can fit that down into the comments. But the word of the day for you guys to hide into the comments is definitely helmet. And my helmet is almost broken is the reason that I chose that word. But we are going to rack up some sticks here, guys. And then I'm going to go probably get some clovers and sap. I really, really, really kind of go want to go ahead... Uh, before I get too much further on this and work on the, um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, the birdhouse idea. The birdhouse idea is going to be our next big build. And that's going to be a birdhouse somehow strapped onto the oak tree that is going to provide us with more or less infinite sap, right? That's what I really want. I want infinite sap. Um, I should probably go down this way instead of jumping off the sides. And I should probably fill stick pallets in here instead of filling them on the top. <laughs> these these little arms here weren't created for ramps, although they work really well for ramps. Uh, but yeah, so helmet. Helmet, 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 helmet. 
I really think, dude, I really think that this birdhouse build is going to take off just the same as the crane marm build did. A lot of people, if you've met, if you've only seen me because of this crane arm build, let me know in the comments, man. Let me know everything in the comments. I love the analytics. I love seeing, you know, when people got here, where you came from, how, how long you've been watching my content. Um, a really cool thing happened to me last night. Uh, Yeet Monkey, I believe his name is. Uh, I think his name might be different on YouTube, but uh, he told me that his nine-month-old son absolutely loves to watch my videos, which I think is so cool. And it brings a big old freaking smile to his face every time he hears my voice now, which is, it's starting to get a little surreal. And then I've got people that hit me up in Discord, and it's like, and they're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I get to talk to see-through. And I'm just like, bro, I'm just, I'm just a normal human, you know? I'm just a plain, normal guy playing games that is just going above and beyond to make as much absolute grounded content as possible. Maybe I'm getting to the point where it seems like I'm famous or something. I don't know. But I promise you, if anybody like is just like, oh my God, I can talk to a YouTuber. I'm so excited. Just hit me up, man. We'll have a conversation. If you want to talk, we can talk. I don't mind. I don't mind if you're like a big drool over me fan or something like that. <laughs> Go ahead and hit me up, dude. I promise it's not as terrifying as you might think it is. All right, let's go, man. You know, probably like, I don't know, like the last six episodes, I've just been chopping sticks at the end of the day. We're having a good conversation. We're chopping sticks. And that's really about all that's been happening. Not going to lie. I mean, we did build this monster thing. But the 98% of it has all been stick collection. And, you know, someone someone stopped in my stream last night, I believe. And, uh, th like, thought I was cheating somehow. And I'm like, dude, I literally record and or stream every second, every minute of myself on this game. Like, <laughs> just doing this exact same thing. I have mastered efficiency in this game is pretty much the best way to explain it, I guess. I am probably the most efficient grounded player that ever existed. Because I just, uh, I know the right way to do everything. The fastest way to do it. Now sometimes I screw that way up, sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes. But I like to think I got it all figured out, right? I like to think I got it all figured out to get her done in the fastest way possible, by God. Get her done. Get her done. And we also had some really cool experiments with eggs last night as well. And I didn't realize that so many people still don't know this. So my biggest, like one of my biggest uh, videos when I very first started creating content was a video about how to get a ton of brat burst. And it was like, seriously, it was like maybe like my third or fourth uh, grounded video once I started like hitting YouTube really hard and trying really hard. <laughs> And, you know, it caught on pretty good, but I guess a lot of people still don't uh, really understand how ant eggs work. Obviously, yes, I know that there is a spot in the upper yard to go get like 10 eggs or something like that. But this is more along the lines of not having to go to the upper yard, you know, because I'm a man of efficiency. I don't like going to the upper yard if I don't have to. You know, because I, I pretty much all the time wear this same setup, the ant armor and the aphid slippers and the pupa hat, dude, because I am a builder, right? I love to build and I love to zoom zoom. So I ain't trying to go to the upper yard if I don't need to. But if you did not know this, if you go to the ant hill, I'll make a video about this. If you guys want me to make an actual redo video about this, because I'm not going to lie, dude, like my content has came a long way in the past uh, three or four months that I've been making grounded content. So, if you want me to remake another ant egg farming video, let me know. But all you have to do, go to the ant hill, kill every ant you see. I prefer using the spicy staff because it literally wrecks them and they don't stand a chance. But, uh, yeah, kill all the ants and then come back about uh, sleep and come back like a day later. And you'll get about 14 and then kill all the ants again and then sleep and come back the next day and you'll get about 20 and just rinse and repeat like once a day. Just don't forget about it or skip a day because then the, all the eggs will hatch. And, you know, that's the hardest part about it because, you know, typically they say 24 or sorry, um, 
48 in-game hours is a good time to go back. But after sitting there and watching it, uh, what happens is the red ant worker goes to the nest. And uh, I followed the red ant worker to the nest. He comes in from the outside. He spawns like out in the world somewhere. And he comes in from the outside of the ant hill and walks all the way down. And he goes to one of the two nests. There's two actual nests in the, uh, in the ant hill. Look at me. I'm not doing efficient things anymore. But he goes to one of the two nests, and then he'll go over there, and he will, like, move his hands around, and then an egg will spawn, and he'll just start walking the other direction. And it's crazy, because then, like, another red worker ant comes from somewhere, and he does the same thing. He goes to the nest, moves his little hands around, and it start, spawns a freaking, spawns an egg. And it's really cool to actually, like, see it happen. But... Like I said, if you guys want me to make another video about it, I think it'd be a great idea. Um, I haven't actually made like any kind of tutorial stuff since the water tower video. Um, I do like to throw in some tutorial type videos here and there, uh, just because, you know, the grit, the they're the ones that usually hit like a truck, right? They're the ones that hit hard. Uh, the let's plays aren't for everybody, you know. Not everybody enjoys the let's plays, but a lot of it has to also depend on my thumbnail, man. My thumbnail game is getting a little dry because, you know, I've only met, <laughs> I have made, good lord, dude, I don't even know, like three or four hundred thumbnails and they're all different. But now I'm like, I'm just like running out of ideas for thumbnails. <laughs> like that was like the other day, the one that was like a Dragon Ball Z reference with the over 9,000 sticks thing. That was pretty brilliant, I think, but... <laughs> at the end, at the end of the day, like I'm running out of thumbnail ideas. I'm gonna just start putting a random screenshot and then just big text, and that's it. Which is pretty much what I've been doing, I guess. All right, so real fast, let us go get. Oh, also, if you didn't know, um, I did tell everybody yesterday that I am going to start re-uploading my um, live streams to a playlist that we're just going to call Twitch Uploads or something like that. Um, so if you don't like Twitch or you don't want to go over to Twitch or you don't want to come to the stream for whatever reason, uh, we will have a playlist that has uh, from here on out every stream in it. I, I can't do all the old ones. It would take forever. It takes about four hours to upload my, my video from Twitch to YouTube. But I just do it and then I schedule it to post. Uh, I might actually pick a specific time for it to schedule to post. But, uh, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say. I really should kill these ladybugs, dude. If I can get this gold card, come here. Come here. Come here. Skadoosh. One, two, three. One, two, three. Get out of here. Come on, gold card. No! All right, let's get this one then. Because I think I still need the, the infected ladybug gold card as well. I pretty much have to kill all ladybugs, like, on, the, on sight. Kill on sight, bro, because... These gold cards, I'm telling you guys, are a pain in the butt. Um, uh-oh. I just want this. That's not so bad. Oh, and I took my natural explorer off because I'm a dummy. Ah! Okay, we're out of here. Oh, now we got skaters. They'll never be able to catch me. You will never catch me. Yep. Bye. I'm out of there, bro. I'm out. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, oh, oh. I'm out of control. All right, where are we going? Uh, we are going to my favorite, to my favorite little uh, clover farming spot. If you guys don't know where I'm talking about, then I will show you. <coughs> We're going to have to fight a bunch of larvas, but at the end of the day. Oh, yeah. Also, someone wants me to do an actual base tour of my base. Imagine. I never even thought about doing that before. I've never thought about doing that. A base tour of my world. So maybe uh, I will do that sometime soon. I kind of wanted to get a little bit further along uh, once I come back to town here. <laughs> if I come back to town here. Dude, I'm going to be building on this world for the rest of my life, I feel like. 
for the rest of my life. All right, we've almost made it over here to the to the clovers. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I need to try and find an aphid or something while I'm out here running around so I can eat because I am so hungry. Not larvas, just aphids. All right, we're almost to clover farming area. It's right over here. Okay. We have arrived in the area of the clover farm. So I'm going to go ahead and take all these like weirdos out because they're just going to... They're not going to leave me alone. And I don't like it when they kick my... When they kick my freaking brat burst around. <coughs> me. Pardon me. Okay, apparently that's it. All right, we're going to drop a brat burst. And this is how we farm clover leaves, man. There goes one. Check this out. This can be a big one. Oh my god, dude, he just blew it like way over there. I didn't want to do that. The shockwave from the other one sent that one like flying. Look at this, dude. You can already tell how efficient this is. This is why I do not chop clovers by hand, dude. I do not chop the clovers by hand. Period. All right, let's go ahead and nom nom nom. Let's go ahead and trash some of this stuff. Some of the stuff I don't need. Hello, welcome to the stream, Larva Man. Okay, so now we can just go through here and pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. And then we'll grab some sap. What time is it in the video? 16.52. Okay, our first word was helmet right so our second word is going to be let's see your favorite medieval weapon of all the medieval weapons in the world i want you guys to rather than pick one word we'll pick a category here for the first time ever your favorite medieval weapon can be anything samurai sword claymore broadsword crossbow like you know Katanas, what else do we got? Flails, maces, axes, battle axes. Whatever you like. Medieval though. It's gotta be medieval. No no lightsabers. No no blasters <laughs> or rifles or anything like that, obviously. Medieval weapon. Your favorite medieval weapon. Combined it with helmet? Hide that in the comments, man. Don't let them. Don't let them know. Don't let them know what it is. I don't want to see no comments that just says helmet katana. You got to get creative. You want to be here. You want to be here hanging out with me. You got to have a little bit of creativity, because I'm freaking littered with it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, man? I really wish I could bind my scroll wheel down on my mouse to the pickup button. Because then I could just scroll wheel down and it would be like... Brrr. And then that would officially be cheating, but I would I would be fine with that. Because me smashing my E key like a million thousand times like this, I have to go buy a new keyboard because a lot of my keys are not working anymore. <laughs> Alright, trash. Let's go trash here. Um, trash the, the sprigs and the weevil nose. Let's see here. We still got four brat bursts left in the event that we need to do this again another time because this is definitely going to be enough because we're already over almost over 400 clovers. Oh, you know what? I oh, never mind. I was about to say, I think I'm recording on the wrong screen. That would have sucked. You know what really sucks, dude? There's been a couple like if you guys actually sat down and watched the entire series um, of this mega build series here you'll find that a couple episodes are missing and that's because I recorded those episodes with zero audio. No game audio, no freaking microphone audio. Sometimes, occasionally, that happens. Um, but I think, hopefully, we're good on this one. Hopefully, we're good on this one. Dude, I've, there's too many. There's too many. I almost need to make a container. Can I make a container? Do I have the stuff? I don't know. Hmm. I do. Let's freaking go, bro. 
All right. Well, I'll just uh, hot deposit 400, 420, literally 420. It just hot deposit. That's funny. Imagine, dude. Imagine 420. We have exactly like 1,420 followers on Twitch too, which is pretty funny. Uh, we have actually we have 1427 now. It was 14. It was 1420 yesterday. I was like, oh my god, I'm not even a, I'm not even a smoker like that. You know what I'm saying? But I do think it's hilarious and slightly ironic, really. All right, dude. This place, I'm telling you, man. You need clovers. Efficiency. Efficiency with the farming of the clovers. Look at it, we're already over 100 and almost 150 again. Yes, it's boring to pick all this up, but you know, when you're building like me, you have to have this. And the sad part is, is I'm only going to get about 122 sap uh, because that's all the sap collectors I have set up. But that's where that's where the clutch birdhouse is going to come into play. All right, how are we sitting here? I got them all picked up. Looks like I got everything picked up. Let me get rid of this. Pick that one up. Let's take this container with us here. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and drop all that. And hey, come here. I could use a snack. There we go. Nom, nom, nom. Hmm. I need this normally. Okay. Minor ish issue. We can't, uh, we can't take this container with us on a zip line, so we're just going to take what we can out of it, take it back to the crib where we need it to be able to start building these uh, four skeleton arm things. Um, also, guys, tonight is follower games, or we'll call it community games. On Twitch, we're going to be playing some uh, fun text-based games where everybody that's in the chat can get involved. Um, it's a lot of fun, man. It's a whole lot of fun. You'll get a kick out of it if you've never been to it before. You will get an absolute kick out of it. I wonder if maybe I just set this, like, here. Here, all of you guys can, can die because I'm not a big fan of y'all messing with me while I'm doing my collection over here. This is another big reason why I want a oak tree sap collector. Although I hate building at the oak tree or just the idea of it, I am going to be building a sap collection farm there because there's nothing that can, you know, get in your way like these freaking mites that are going to continuously destroy my freaking my farm. We'll get started on the birdhouse soon, guys. Maybe a couple more episodes. I just want to make sure that this place looks amazing because I'm literally building this place for Obsidian. We have our Obsidian interview on the 22nd of this month. Uh, it was going to be earlier this month, but sadly Xbox Live screwed up and gave us some issues. But, yeah, redoing it on the 22nd. Oh, man, you guys are not going to let me pick up pick up my thing. Okay, there we go. All righty then. Get up there. All right, back to the place. I could just hoof it. Maybe I should just hoof it and just bring this container with me the whole way. Maybe I should just hoof it. No, I don't want to hoof it because I want to show you guys the entryway up there because I don't believe I showed y'all in a video yesterday. Um, let's see here. Is this going to snap somewhere? It's not, dude. Big sad. All right, well, I'm going to set it down here so I remember where it's at, I guess. And uh, I'll just take what I can fit in my bag and get the rest later. Now I will remember that I have that clover storage sitting right there. Well, I won't remember, but y'all will. Don't look down. Y'all will. Cheers. My P.O. box is in the is in the description too. And if you guys, you know, want to send me any cooler coffee mugs than this one, if you can find them, hit me up in the P.O. box in the comments, man. I love coffee cups. Even though this is the only one I have. But this one's pretty sick. I couldn't imagine a cooler one than this one. A TNT Minecraft mug. It's pretty dope. Pretty dope. Alright, so we've got Approximately five minutes left of this video. Let's see if I can piece together uh, the beginning of these four skeleton arms to kind of give you guys like an idea of, of my thought process here. And then I'm going to see if I can connect them 
arms in any shape, form, or fashion to try and create that, you know, that outer skeleton feel of like what a huge crane arm would have. And we'll go from there, man. We'll go from there. And then once we get that completed, we'll take a step back and see if it's done or not. Roro, I can hear you over there, my dude, but I have no idea what you're saying, my friend. Can you play two player on Minecraft? Yes. Does that mean you're wanting to, me to play with you? Oh God, Rowan has learned two player. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm blessed. Is that the word? I'm not blessed. Like that makes me very happy. But at the same time, I'm like, bro, I gotta make videos and stuff. And he's like, play multiplayer with me. I played Minecraft Dungeons with him like a week or two ago and he was, hasn't let me live it down since. But then again, you know, other people would be absolutely wish their kid would play games with them. So I can't, uh, and you know, ultimately that's a, that's a big goal of mine, but God, I, anything but Minecraft at this point, I used to love Minecraft a long time ago. I gotta buy him grounded. Wait, can you play grounded on a regular Xbox? Like a Xbox 360? I don't know if you can or not. All right. So there's that. This might actually look super, super dope. I don't know, we'll see. It's gonna take forever, because I gotta take four of these arms all the way to the tippy tippy top. All the way to the tippy tippy top, so it might be a pain in the butt. We shall find out. But either way, I think it's going to look really freaking cool. I hope. I wish there was like a fly around creative mode so I could like test these ideas out before I do them. But there's really not, man. There is a creative mode at some point, but it has n no fly around and find out. You still have to climb normally and all that good stuff. Okay. So you guys kind of get the concept here. Take those arms up like that. And then we also do the same thing down here with these. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit more complicated. I think I'll have to build like, mm, let's see here. Ooh wee. My tummy's upset. That's not good. Too much bacon and coffee this morning. All right, we're gonna do that. But yeah, you guys get the idea, man. I'm gonna try and build like a like an outliney skeleton type thing and see, you know, potentially along the lines here if we can connect pieces um, and make it look cool. I don't know. I don't know. Seems like a cool idea. Obviously, it's going to take forever to get all the way up to the tippy tops. But that's good for content. Foreverness is great for content. Okay, there we go. Then we take the floor. Floor there. Yep. Just like this. Yeah. So we have our four. Not four yet, but uh, let's see here. Ah. Ow. Let me grab that. Copy, copy, copy. And then it's going to be here, correct? Yes. There. Okay. We go back up to the top again. Come back up to the top again. And then we're gonna do this. This is just my temporary ramp for those of you judging me right now for whatever that re whatever that is. All right, so we go here, and we just make this little one wide shafty thingy, majigger. Yes. Uh, uh. Where's that? There we go. The freaking bees, dude. I just have to accept the fact that we're that we're gonna have bees, dude. There's no ex extermination process uh, without them hurting or destroying my stuff. I really thought bees were aggressive, though. Like, why are they not? Why are they never attacking me? I really thought that they were aggressive. I'm not gonna lie. Okay.
And voila! The idea commences. Yeah, I really think it's gonna look sick. Uh, let me get up here. Yeah, dude, I think that is gonna look crazy. Yo, this is gonna look super crazy, especially if I can find like ways to connect them. Um, cause obviously I think all I would have to do is turn around a roof and boom, connect, boom, connect right here. Uh, turn around roofs, go the other direction and pretty much build the exact same thing, but in reverse to connect the arms together. And then we can connect them long ways up and down ways. Oh my God. This is going to look so sick. I'm excited for this part. This is the part that this is the, this is what we needed. I feel like this is what we needed. Either way, guys, if you haven't hit the like, vi like button yet, please hit the like button for me so this video appears on everybody's timeline that's ever played Grounded in their life. Share the video if you got any friends, man, and uh, comment down below with helmet and your favorite medieval weapon of all time. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.